Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to explore how we can work with interactive objects in our games, specifically how players can interact with objects by clicking on them. Firstly, we create a script called iClickable to work with interactive objects in the game. The script provides a structure necessary for our objects to be clickable. In other words, every object that the player can click on in the game will have an interaction using the script. This interface, which we call iClickable, actually works like a kind of contract. According to this contract, every object that implements iClickable must contain a click method. That is, every object that uses this script becomes clickable, and this click operation leads to a specific function. Now, we will show how to implement the iClickable interface in the chess controller script. In the first step, we add the iClickable interface to the chess controller class. With this operation, the chess controller class becomes a clickable object. Then, we implement the click method in the chess controller. In this method, we define the actions to be performed when the chest is clicked. For example, we can trigger an animation to open the chest. We will allow our player to interact with objects using Raycast. Raycast allows us to draw a ray and determine where and what it hits. This is especially useful in games to identify objects that the player can interact with. First, in the player controller script, we created a float variable called interaction range. This variable determines how far the Raycast will reach. Then, we created a function for sending the ray. This function sends a ray in the direction the player is looking. If this ray hits an object, it checks the hit object with the iClickable interface and calls the click method. To do this, we use the ray and raycast that objects to send a ray in the direction the player is looking. If the ray hits an object within a certain distance and that object implements the iClickable interface, we call the click method to interact with it. Using raycasting to identify objects the player can interact with allows interaction with clickable objects in the game. This way, the player can only interact with objects hit by the ray. 